when the sport was taken away, I lost a passion that I never truly got back again. There's the, you have a certain amount of drive and sport helps you channel. And I had no real outlet in what I wanted to do when it was taken away. What I found walking into the martial arts class two, two and a half years ago was an awakening of that passion, the drive to want to be better, to succeed, which had been missing since I was 15. The power to be able to say, no, I don't want to do that, or yeah, let's try this new thing. Two years ago, I decided I'd had enough. I'd had enough of people looking, of people shouting at me when I walked down the street, of hearing people thinking that they're talking quietly about how I looked and what I was doing. And I found the courage to step into my son's martial arts class. And finding sport again after 20 years, after having two children and rapidly approaching my 40th birthday was my way of sticking two fingers up at those who stood and stared and those who thought they knew better. I was told I'd never run again. I've run 10Ks and 5Ks in the last two years. I've lost six stone through grit and determination, but mainly because I found sport and I found my tribe. I don't want to not be able to do something because of my size. I want to be able to do the things that everybody else can do. And sometimes it may take me longer to learn a skill, but it isn't because I'm larger, it's because my brain hasn't worked out how to do it yet. I need to break things down and that's what I needed to do with food. I needed to not just obsess and think of one thing I need to think of more than one thing. I need to fill my life full of little things that keep me busy rather than just thinking of food. I need to surround myself with people who don't just give me food and say, here, eat. And after losing so many people to sickness in a very short time, that window of opportunity of going to someone's house and just being fed has gone. I'm now more of a grown up than I've probably ever been in 40 years. But I've only grown up in the last two and a half, three years. I've only become my own person in the last three years. And I've missed so much not being my own person, being the person somebody else thought I should be, that I didn't make my own tribe. I tried to fit into other people's and no one should have to fit in. Because fitting in doesn't make you happy. Fitting in makes you feel alone. 
and like you're not good enough and that you won't be good enough because you're not comfortable. And when you're not comfortable, you will go to the things that help you. And the things that helped me were food and sitting in the dark and eating. 